Yum, 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 yum. Hi everybody. These guys are gallium vampire teeth. Today I noticed them on my shelf. Teeth on the shelf. Yes, in general, I thought for a long time, I did not invent anything with gallium. Who does not know, gallium is ordinary metal like iron, lead or aluminium. But it has one interesting feature. If the melting point, for example, iron is 1,500 degrees, aluminium is 660 degrees and lead is 330, then gallium is melted at a temperature of only 30 degrees. Imagine how low the temperature is. Here is my hand, for example, has a temperature of 32 degrees almost. That is, if I put gallium on my palm, hold it like this, then it will melt right in my palm. Imagine how great. And he gets his hands dirty, but it's not scary. It's very easily washed off with soap. This is very unusual interesting when you can put the metal in hot water and it melts just before our eyes. No blast furnace needed. Just melt in a bowl with hot water and then pour into the mold and get different interesting ingots. So I made a gun from gallium, a copy of a silver button, human teeth and those vampire teeth and gallium is similar to silver and in the molten form of mercury but it's completely harmless and can be safely picked up. And this is a common paraffin candle. Paraffin melts at 50 degrees. That is, to melt it just like that in the hands until the end does not work, even if you hold it for a long, long time. Well, except that it will be a little soft, but to a liquid state. It is not exactly melted in the hands, unlike gallium, but when the candle burns, the paraffin, of course, begins to melt. And what if you make a candle from gallium? Will it burn? And in general, how will it look? I think it will be very beautiful to make a gallium candle. We need a form into which we will pour molten gallium. The form should be such elongated as a candle. And I decided to take a syringe, pull out of the middle of it, and it turns out the ideal shape and thickness one by one as our candle. Each candle inside has such a wick where I do not know how to buy it separately. So I decided to get it from another candle. I'll just try to break it. Yes, it really works for me to break or cut this candle with a knife and get this one out from there. The wick itself, yes guys, here he is very easy to get. Here, and the wick is already with us. First you need to seal the hole for the needle which is on the syringe. I just melted the end of the syringe with a cigarette lighter and flattened it with a knife. It turned out not very beautiful, but very quickly. Now this wig must somehow be placed inside the candle mold, and so that he was in the center and did not move anywhere when pouring gallium into the mold. To begin with, I used the hot glue to attach the form of the stand, so that it stood straight and did not fall anywhere. Then carefully put a drop of hot glue from the gun on the end of the wick and then very carefully put the wick in shape. After a couple of seconds the glue grabbed and the wick was firmly secured in the center of the mold. Then I put the glue on the center of the match and fastened the wick on it so that it was also exactly on top of the center. I got this design completely ready for pouring into it gore. Well guys, and now let's melt our galleon. Melt and teeth just into metal. For this, we need an ordinary glass and a kettle with boiled hot water. Pour boiling water directly into the glass. Now look guys, take the vampire teeth and throw straight into the glass. More precisely, do not throw, but like this, look, melts, melts, strips, and immediately it looks like mercury. Imagine how grandmother put her teeth in a glass of water and then they dissolve there. Look, right before your eyes, they turn into liquid. Interesting, right? So let's throw the second jaw. Cap, cap, look.
looks like the Terminator. True? Such Mercury. Super. Teeth. Look how sharp. Now this thing is melting. Literally a minute will pass and there will be completely liquid gallium metal. Well, that's all. See? I lower the wand. Stir. Completely, completely melted everything. Not one a piece of solid, no. Looks just unreal, yes? It seems that it is not water here, but air. There is some kind of mercury. But this is water, guys. The class. Do not cease to be surprised. I look at this gallium and just marvelling. Well, how is this possible? How? But it is possible. In nature, much is possible. Now, we take the second syringe, the hole, drop it into the container and draw in gallium here. See how cool? The clasp, almost all tightened. See it? Do you know that it is very heavy? I do not know, probably heavier than lead, or not. Need to read on the internet. Now I will pour the excess water out of here, and now I have a full gallium syringe. The clasp, it is really heavy. Listen, I do not know how many grams. The gram is about 150, probably like lead. By the way, what happens if you inject the gallium injection here? What do you think? Write in the comments. I think it will not be very... Okay, therefore, we will not do this. So, take our candle mold and carefully pour gallium here. There are. Trooper guys, look. And now we just have to wait until this gallium hardens. And then we will have a candle. So, it took a couple of hours, and as we see, gallium is completely froze. Look, the wick is exactly in the center, and gallium is already solid. And now we need to somehow remove this gallium from the mold. I began to try to cut the syringe with a stationary knife, but it was not so easy. The syringe was very hard and did not respond well. And also, I was afraid to hurt the candle itself, therefore, acted very carefully. Soon, I managed to incise a syringe. I tried to push gallium out of shape, and I did it. Class. Look guys, here it is, a gallium candle. Left just cut the wick too long, and that's all. Now it's exactly like a real candle. For comparison, we put next ordinary paraffin candle. As an ordinary candle burns, we know, and we'll check how the gallium candle will burn. Let's put a gallium candle in a bowl, just in case, and try to set it on fire now. I have no idea whether it will burn. If so, how? So attention, we ignite the wick. Come on, come on, go on, sunbathe. Don't you want to burn? What's up guys? I did not understand. Maybe the wick got dirty in gallium and doesn't want to burn. Let's try it like this. Come on, light up. Damn, for some reason shoots but does not burn. Look, smouldering, not burning. What's the matter? I did not understand. It may be wet. What's up, guys? I did not understand why. See, it's smouldering. Red, but not burning. Why? So smokes. Black soot from it goes. Even melted, look. That's gallium. A droplet gathered, but for some reason does not burn, guys. I'm shocked. Maybe this wick got dirty in Galia, and therefore does not burn. Okay, let's do that, look. I still have a piece. The one that I cut off was too long. Let's try to set it on fire. Will it burn? Well, it seems to be burning so weakly, to be honest. For some reason, barely. Here on the candle burns. This one we pulled out of the exact same candle 
and for some reason it does not burn. What is the matter? And as always, guys, Google helped me. I entered in the search for due to what a candle burns, and that's what I found. When the wick is ignited, the wax around it melts, and under the influence of capillary forces, the wax rises up the wick, evaporating, and a pair of wax and form a candle flame. Imagine this is not a wick lit. It burns wax, more precisely a pair of wax, which are tightened up the wick. That is why the wick itself, look, it absolutely does not burn at all. That is, it burns a little and immediately begins to fade. Here, he just smoulders. Red. He needs wax in order to burn. I didn't know that, guys. Did you know? Write in the comments. Did you know that it is not the wick that is burning, but wax or paraffin, which is in the candle? In general guys, we unfortunately did not manage to light a candle from Gallium. It will be very interesting, but on the other hand, we have learned a lot of new things. Why the candle is burning? Due to what it is burning? Here is such an experiment guys. A negative result is also a result. I hope you enjoyed the video. Put likes, subscribe to the channel. Until new meetings. Bye bye.